everybody, and welcome back to episode three of my survival series. We've got a bunch of fun stuff planned for today. Obviously, I left us on a bit of a cliffhanger last week with the nether portal all set up and ready to go, so we will be going on a nice little adventure into the nether today. But first, as you can see behind me, I have set up a lovely little enchanting station in this mushroom here. I spend a bit of time in between episodes just getting all the bookshelves so that we can get proper level 30 enchantments so I don't waste all my levels on lower enchantments. I also just did a bit of rearranging. I put the cows down here, got some chickens, also got a, a llama. Um, don't ask how. It's fine. He's happy. All right, so let's get some stuff together, enchant some things. Hopefully we get some good enchantments. I have not checked yet. I haven't put anything in, so we'll just kind of we'll see what happens. And once we've got some stuff enchanted up, we will head into the nether. All right, so in between episodes, I did use my diamonds to put together some diamond armor, an extra diamond pick, a diamond sword, diamond axe, you know, all the, all the usual stuff. So let's start with the pick. Ooh, unbreaking three. All right, I always want unbreaking. Let's see what we get. <gasps> oh, <laughs> That was a good one. Oh, I am happy with that. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, I'm I'm very pleased with that. Um, won't complain. Uh, all right, what should we enchant next? I think I'm just gonna go for the picks. I always want both the picks to be enchanted. I will lose all my lovely 30 levels, but we're going into the nether, so it's fine. I'll get more levels while we're in there. <gasps> Ooh, another efficient. Mm. Should I bother with a second efficiency pick? Yeah, I, I, I will because let's see. Okay, just efficiency four. That's fine um, because hopefully I will be able to get um, a silk touch book at some point, uh, and then I can put it on that one. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Not as good as my first roll of the dice, which was insanely lucky, but hey, I'll take it. Uh, all right, so now let's get geared up for the nether. Obviously, I'm going to make a quick bit of- oh wait, I don't even need to make gold armor. I have gold armor. Let's just wear that. All right, so I'll throw on my, my diamond armor for protection. I don't mind if I lose it. I like mining, so if I lose the diamonds, I'll just get some new ones. All right, we are going to want to bring some building blocks along with us as well, just in case our portal has spawned over a nether lake, nether lake, lava lake of some sort. Never want to get stuck over there. Uh, also, always bring flint and steel with you. I have gotten stuck in the nether more than once because a ghast has, you know, blown out my portal and then I... <laughs> have a very difficult time getting back to the other side. So better to be safe than sorry. All right, I think we are all prepared, ready to go. So let's head in. <gasps> okay, all right. Crimson Forest. I like that. Glad I'm not in a basalt delta or something or over a lava lake. So this is this is a good start. Big fan. Oh, 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 I hear you. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> All right. Why do I hear lava hissing? Oh. Oh. Okay. Hi. You couldn't have uh, loaded in before I got here? Actually, no, I'm glad you uh, loaded in after I got here. Because if I would walked out into lava, that wouldn't have been very nice. Okay, um, this is a little less pleasant than it was at first, but that that's okay. That's fine. Um, I can still get in and out of my portal. We're good. We're good. 
Actually, I'm going to pick up this mushroom. <gasps> there we go. Just so that if we've got one of those lovely hoglins coming up trying to attack us, I can scare it off. All right, let's take a look around, see what we've got in this area. See if there's anything interesting. I don't usually play with such a low render distance, but I kind of have to, to reduce lag on this world. It is, I, ooh, <laughs> it's scary being in the nether with render this low. It's, it feels much more ominous and I just, I can't see what's out there, but it's an adventure. It's fun. Let's see what we find. Shroom light, my favorite. Oh, I should have brought gold into the nether with me. It would have been really handy. Oh well. I will always be able to come back in later. Okay, I really want to be able to see what's across this lake, so I'm just gonna pop my render distance up. Hopefully it doesn't lag it down too much. It's up to 18. Pretty high. Hopefully a hoglin doesn't Push me off the edge here. Y'all are making me nervous. Go away. I think... <laughs> that looks like another fortress to me. Hang on. I'm gonna try and go around and see if that is another fortress. So if it is, it'd be pretty nice. Okay, hoglins, you stay away. Mm, yes, this is safe. Oh, okay. I was hoping going around here would get me closer, but apparently not. Let me turn render distance up again, see if I can see where I'm at. Ooh, okay, it's not another fortress, that's fine, but it is a bastion. So that will be useful. Still gonna make my way over there, not gonna go in yet because I don't wanna die, but useful thing to have nearby. Good to know. I'm quite happy that I spawned in a uh, crimson forest here because I have a feeling with my builds in the dark forest, you know, going all kind of fantasy fairy tale themed, um, I'm gonna be using a lot of the nether foliage, particularly the mushrooms and the vines and all that, so I'm very glad that I don't have to make a long trip anywhere to find it. Now I just need to find my way back mm -hmm. to my portal. I put down torches, but uh, apparently not clearly enough. Hi, friend. All right, I was able to find my way back to my portal, thankfully, uh, somehow without dying to hoglins. <laughs> I continuously forget to eat after I find something. And these guys, or at least the, the big ones of these guys, hit pretty hard. So, I've got to be a bit more careful. Alright, let's investigate over this way, see if there's anything of interest. Please don't hit me into the lava. I would not appreciate that. So we know we've got a bastion out that way. I'm hoping for a fortress out this way. I would really like to have a fortress. I really want to experiment with uh, blaze farms and withers and everything. I have never actually fought the wither on any of my servers in all my years of playing Minecraft. Um, so I'd really like to have that opportunity. Hopefully I don't have to travel too far to get that. All right, all right. Another waste, another waste. Pretty basic, closed in, not too open. Let's check out this direction. Don't I wouldn't mind a soul sand valley. I, w I, I, I wouldn't mind. I've grown kind of fond of those. Not sure why, I don't know. I mean, I hate the ghasts. <laughs> They're a bit of a problem in the soul sand valleys, but I like the soul sand. Um, once I have soul speed boots, at least. 
Okay, this is just more crimson forest in there, so I'm not gonna bother going that direction. Let's head over this way. I'm not gonna spend too much longer in the nether, because I do have stuff I want to do back at my base. But I wanna get some exploring out of the way, just so I have an idea of what to expect in here and what to plan for. One thing I like about this is we've got the nether waste right here, which means at some point I will probably be making uh, zombified bigland farms above the nether, which I recently learned how to do and became kind of obsessed with doing. And this way I won't have to travel really, really far to do that. So very handy. Hi, I hear you. Looks like we are in a soul sand. Yes, we are. All right, so we got crimson forest, nether waste, soul sand over here. You can already hear the ghasts. Can't see them yet, so that's uh, yeah, that's good. Still have not found any sort of nether fortress. Oh. Is that the salt delta? Or is that just a feature of soul sand? Hmm, not sure. All right, okay. Well, this is, this is good. This is a good start. Let me turn this back down. So we know what biomes we have around us, at least in the immediate uh, distance. I'm sure there's some others, probably not too far away. They usually it's usually not too sparse in the nether. I might be wrong. Maybe I've just been had lucky nethers before. Uh, but we do have a bastion near us, which is useful. I have not yet raided a bastion. That is something I have not gotten to on any of my other servers. Um, I want to do a bit of research on the best methods before I try. <laughs> so... I will not be touching that uh, until I've watched a few videos and learned a bit more. <laughs> I always I always do my research before I jump into uh, the more intense uh, things in Minecraft, uh, like ocean monuments. I am 100% confident when it comes to ocean monuments now, but before I did my first ocean monument, I watched a whole bunch of videos, learned all the methods, and I was terrified because I was convinced I was going to do it wrong and I was going to die <laughs> and lose all my stuff. Um, but then I did it and it took me like five minutes to defeat the monument. So those I'm fine with, but there's still a few things in Minecraft that I have not yet done. So they're definitely going to be on the list of things to do in this series such as defeat a bastion, fight the wither, get a beacon. I've never used a beacon before. I really want to, so that'll be fun. Um, what else? I've defeated the dragon before, but never solo. So I'm, I think I'm gonna have fun trying that one out, uh, especially because there's, there's so many different strategies for that one. I don't know what strategy I'm gonna use, but I'm just excited to try them out. Um, but I'm curious to see how easy it is on my own, because uh, I've always done it with friends. Uh, and I never had a hard time, but my friends were always dying all around me, and I was letting them do a lot of the work. So, I'm excited. I, I am... Oh, <laughs> oh, that was close. <sighs> oh, I love efficiency, uh, efficiency for picks, but they are terrifying to use in the nether. Okay, I'm gonna leave the rest of that quartz there. You know, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need that much. It's fine. All right, I'm gonna leave my nether exploration there for now. I'll probably gather a bunch of other nether resources uh, in between episodes, you know, or even just in between recording clips. We'll see. But, oh, that was a bad idea. I'm not smart. Okay, I'll go there. Oh, <laughs> this is this is a problem. All right, I've got to I've got to pillar up and block off this lava because I will definitely walk right into it if I'm not careful. And I do not have netherite gear yet, so dying in lava is not very fun. I am definitely gonna try to get netherite pretty quickly. Um, 
I don't really care about it in terms of armor. It is useful, you know, when I die in lava and it doesn't <laughs> also die. So that's good. But mostly I like it on my picks because my picks are the most valuable thing in Minecraft for me. I just, I need my picks and I don't want to remake them and re-enchant them and I want them to survive and just be wonderful. I'm very attached to my picks. Okay, I am doing a terrible job of blocking off this lava flow, but whatever, it's fine. I'll figure it out. Oh, oh, okay, sure, you go there. I'm just making it worse. I'm just flooding my, <laughs> I'm just flooding my portal now. I have made a mistake. This is fine. There we go. Much better. All right, now that we are safely lava free, let's head back to the surface. All right, let's toss our newly gathered supplies into here. Oh, by the way, I can't remember if I showed this to you. I just dug this out so I have some extra storage space. Um, it's probably not gonna be permanent. I will be doing some actual building at some point, so I will likely get some real storage space set up soon. All right, well, that was pretty successful. Uh, we do have 32 levels again, so let's enchant something else. I think I wanna try enchanting my sword and see what I get on that. Let's grab our lapis. Do, do, do. Let's see, okay, on breaking three, just check these. Ooh, okay, let me check my armor first. Do, do. Oh wait, boots. Boots are my favorite part of armor, so I want to make sure... I'm gonna always check and see if I can get something good on my boots first. Okay, on breaking three. Protection three. Protection three. Ooh, okay, let me check my axe. I'm breaking three. Listen, I love unbreaking. I do, I do. I'm not complaining about any of these options. They're all very good. I was just, you know, hoping for something a bit more interesting. Should I bother with the sword? No, you know what? I'm gonna do my boots. I'm gonna do the boots. Hmm, all right. Just unbreaking three. That's fine. That's fine. Oh. Okay, well, thanks for that. <laughs> oh, oh, the poor mushroom. Oh no, it actually like broke the mushroom blocks. No, and I don't have silk touch, so I can't get mushroom. Well, this is just gonna be an odd looking <laughs> enchantment mushroom from now on, I guess. Oh well. I'll fix it uh, at some point once I get silk touch. Once I start properly building. Silk touch is kind of a uh, priority for me. So I will be doing some villager stuff quite soon to hopefully get some good trades. Oh, need more dirt. Because obviously I live in a mushroom forest and I want to use mushrooms to my advantage, but I kind of need silk touch to do that. So yeah. I'll be working on that. I guess this uh, creeper just reminded me of that importance. So thank you, creeper, for straightening out my priorities. So what I want to start on now is some actual building. I think we need more than just mushrooms uh, and open spaces. So I wanna change this area right here that I've set up and build some sort of little house. I don't really have a plan in mind for exactly what it's gonna look like, but I'm just gonna start building and see what happens. That's a part of, you know, going out of my comfort zone is just not over planning stuff and instead just kind of trusting my instincts and putting blocks down and seeing if I'm happy with it. So let's get started. Voila! 
building complete. It's, uh, it's a bit hidden in the trees, but that is the point. It is a forest after all. I want things to be kind of tucked in, hidden away, blending in. So let's go, let's take a look at what I've thrown together. This was all very haphazard, no real plan to it, but I'll give you a little tour. Let's look at the outside first and then look at the inside. So we've got the nice front door here. As you can see, I used a pretty basic palette, dark oak, stripped regular oak, and some spruce sprinkled in there. I made some little windows on the side with a few gardens. So you always want to add a pop of color. I'm pretty happy with the roof design. Obviously, it's very basic, very simple, but I like how I decorated the, uh, whatever they're called, the gables, eaves, I don't know technical terms here. I'm pretty happy with that. And of course I'm using lanterns everywhere because I love lanterns. They just add a really good vibe to it. Over here, I've kind of built the house like into the trees, <clears throat> into the trees around it. Um, I tried to not remove too many of the leaves as I was building up there, although that was kind of difficult to avoid doing. Uh, yeah, I just kind of did my best to not disturb the forest around the house while I was building it. Now if we hop over this way, we've got another little bit over here. Again, it's very hard to see from the outside, from the trees. Um, but that's the point. I like it to be hidden, and it means I don't have to <laughs> do a really good job on the roof. I can kind of just leave it as is, have it looking messy, and it's fine, because it's just buried into the trees. So that's the exterior. Now let's poke our heads inside. I have not fully completed the interior, because I'm still kind of getting ideas, so this central area is a little bit bare, as you can see. Uh, but right over here, I've thrown together a little, I don't know, living room area. Got a nice little writing desk, bookshelves. Use some looms. I guess these kind of look like drawers, they could be, or, I don't know, an instrument of some sort. It's just decoration, something interesting. I built a little loft right up here, so this is my bedroom where I can store my valuable items for safekeeping. Look out over the house. I actually put a few lofts in here because the ceilings ended up being quite tall, so I wanted to fill the space so I didn't have awkwardly high ceilings. So I've just got more storage up here, which I have not put anything into yet because uh, you'll see my storage in a minute. It's not organized. If we pop through here, we have a very tiny little uh, hallway that goes straight through some trees into our enchanting mushroom, which I grew here, planted here, so that I could move our enchanting space. This was originally outside of the building that I had, so this hallway is actually really awkward. It was not <laughs> planned, but once I planted the mushroom and then put this in here, I realized I needed a way to get to it. Uh, from inside the house, so I just threw some walls up. You can see <laughs> there was originally an exterior roof here that I just kind of built around. So it serves its purpose. I like it. It's cute. I'm sure I'll uh, make it a little bit more cohesive in the future. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what to do with this middle space yet in terms of decorating. I really want to flesh out these walls here because right now they're very flat and just need a little, a little bit of something. So, still working on that. We then have a little hallway right here where our original mushroom house was that I tore down. Another little loft, more storage, a nice hidden painting. Whoop. And uh, this is this is this is the closet of shame that we don't talk about. Um, this is my current temporary storage situation, which I have not organized or figured out at all. I am going to turn this into a proper room. It's probably going to be like kind of my cellar situation, uh, so I can have all my furnaces set up in here. I'll probably build a smelter. So this will be kind of the more technical area of the house. But for now, it's literally just a dirt hole. 
that I haven't done anything with except hit it behind some doors in my nice uh, little hallway there. So yeah, we don't, we don't talk about that. I will be fixing that at a later date. <laughs> I also started to put together a little bit of a path out here. I had to kind of build out some of the dirt so it wasn't such a steep drop off at the edge out the front door. Uh, so I have a path starting to go down here. This kind of lower area is definitely going to be uh, organized a bit more in the future. Farms kind of enclosed, having proper stables and whatnot. My nether portal is definitely going to have some sort of structure around it, so it's not just in a dirt wall. Uh, but for now, I have the house, I have a little bit of a path started, so I think that's a good, a good place to begin. Now, one more thing I want to do today is I want to put up a little list of things I want to complete, kind of short-term projects, short-term goals, that I want to try to finish in the next few episodes. Might be more than a few, but you know, just things I want to achieve short term. I have longer term goals, you know, like clearing out ocean monuments and building really big projects and eventually, you know, castles in the mountains and whatnot. Uh, but for now, I just have some short term things, things that I want to try out that I haven't really done before or just practical things that I need to get done soon. So, I have some signs. I'm honestly not sure where I want to set this up. I think I'm just gonna do it in this clearing here. I can always move it later. You know what? I should build a wall. Let me grab some stone real quick. So, the first thing I want to do, which I will probably be starting in the next episode already so I can get it out of the way nice and quick, is a zombie farm. Of course, in our other episode, we found the zombie spawner just over that way, nice and close by, nice and convenient, and I want to get it set up. Obviously, I don't really need the rotten flesh that comes from it, but I do want some source of XP. Uh, I will eventually be building some sort of zombie piglin farm or something, or maybe an enderman farm. Never built one of those before, uh, but that's, uh, that's much further in the future for when I really, really, really need a lot of XP. For now, I just need something simple, something close by. So that's gonna be our first project. Second project I want to start on pretty soon is something to do with bees. I, I don't really know what. Uh, a honey farm, I guess. I have not worked much with bees yet uh, since uh, bees were added to Minecraft. So I want to, yeah, set, set up a bee farm if I can, get honey, get honeycomb. Uh, I really want to start using candles because I feel like those will really fit with the aesthetic I've got planned for this area. So if I can get some honeycomb reliably, that'll be perfect. So bees, that's my next step. Uh, third thing I want to get started on pretty quickly is villager trading. So we have our village right over that way with a few lovely villagers in there. I have the feeling I'm going to set up the trading there in the village. I'll build something right on the edge of the village so that I don't have to transport them into the middle of the forest. I hate transporting villagers. They are incredibly inconvenient and I just don't want to go through that hassle. So I'll probably build a trading hall over in the village uh, that's already there and I'll set up some good trades because I want to get some good uh, enchantments. I want to get mending, silk touch, all that special stuff that would take me ages to get if I just used my enchanting table over here. So these are like my top three priorities right here. Zombie farm, bees, and villager trading. So definitely gonna start on the zombie farm next episode. I might go hunting for beehives while I'm at it, although I do need silk touch, I believe. So I might kind of swap around the importance. So I'll start with zombie farm, 
see if I can get a silk touch villager and then go hunting for some bees and uh, start setting that up once I have silk touch figured out. Some other, uh, other sort of smaller goals, which are kind of expected, but still ones I want to get done quite soon, is I want to find a nether fortress, obviously, very useful. Uh, and specifically so that I can find blaze rods and find a stronghold. And of course, along with that, defeat the dragon. Uh, that may be a little bit further in the future, uh, but honestly, I'm not too scared of doing that. I've never done it on my own, but you know, I'm not too worried. I'm willing to just sit there and do it the long way. So yeah, these are, these are the starting goals that I'm going to be working towards in the next few episodes. Obviously, there will be smaller goals that kind of go along with these as we go along. Like, once I find another fortress, I'm probably going to try building a blaze farm, because I've never built one of those before. Uh, might try getting some wither skulls so that I can fight the wither. Never done that before. <laughs> so, you know, as, as we go, other opportunities will present themselves. But to start, these are our goals. So, uh, that is all I'm going to do for today's episode. Uh, I'm not sure how long this episode is going to turn out to be. Unfortunately, as you may have all noticed, there has been a very long break in between episodes. I think it's been like three weeks or something. Uh, that is also because there was a three week break in between recording the beginning and end segment of this episode. Unfortunately, I had some final exams for university to finish up over the last couple weeks, so I had to put Minecraft on hold and <laughs> spend all my time studying. So, I'm back now. I had to take a break in between. Uh, I did all of the building over the last two, three weeks, just in very small segments when my brain needed a break. Um, so I apologize for the long gap, uh, and I apologize if this episode feels a little bit disjointed or maybe a little bit short. I just, you know, there's a big, big gap in between my recording sessions, so I hardly even remember <laughs> what I did at the beginning of this episode. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my adventures so far, and I hope you enjoyed seeing my little house, which will be improved as we continue and expanded, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, for now, that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I should be getting right back on schedule so you can expect another episode next weekend as usual instead of having a three-week long break. Thank you all for watching. I love you all very much. Bye-bye.